aside or let your mind wander a thousand miles away across the sky through time I've wondered those watchful eyes I'm under cause I'll let the mountains bleed with your sin sing for salvation pray for rain if you've left an open view of your soul lay bearing witness bound to the Haven't you wasted enough time alone here? You've had your chance to make things right. Get up! The fight is long. Get up! While you still have a show. Shoot it into darkness Put it down now Stay your head Chases the spring frost over blooming flowers And with you left in open view of your soul Lay there and witness bound to the wall Haven't you wasted enough time alone here? You've had your chance to make things right. Get out! The fight is alone. Get out! While you still have a show, shoot it into death. Good night. Haven't you ever? Wasted enough time alone here. You've had your chance to make things right. Get out. The fight is alone. Get out. Why you still have the shore? Shoot it into darkness. Howdy, howdy, guys. Welcome to Start Here. My name is Cody Parson. I'm your host, and we are here in Clarksville at the home of original live music, Rebel House Pub and Eatery. Um, I myself am here. Quite often I host an open mic here, and I'm the residential sound guy. And I'm here with a Clarksville act that we're really excited to have today. Meet Water Buffalo. How you doing, guys? Good. Well, 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 um, I know you guys are relatively new, kind of new on the scene, new this year, kind of starting out. I've seen Ricky playing some other projects and you I've seen you guys spread out in some other things. I know Seth, you play in Phil Amuse as well, another local band. Um, but kind of give me the little rough, uh, the little rough history of how you guys came together this past uh, year. Sure. Yeah. Um, so uh, most of us came out of a different band. Um, and when we came out of that band, we decided to kind of make our own project. And so that's kind of how we started. Um, and it all kind of roots back to, to Sata. That's so I didn't, I, I didn't meet any of these guys until, until I met Sata. 
And so it kind of brought us all together. Um, but yeah, it was uh, November, late November, mm -hmm. when Thad and I kind of got together and like, let's 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 do this. Sorry, about my language. Let's do this. Um, and uh, say whatever you want to. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, uh, we got together and then we just started, you know, talking with everyone here and and uh, they all kind of work together at the same place so it's kind of easy to for them to communicate to okay so sad i kind of like started the ball rolling with things again yeah. and it was at a connection to that and Seth, everybody was like you guys all knew each other uh, from working together yeah. hey, i actually started here too from playing open mic uh oh. Aaron rebel I, I picked up the bass for the first time and uh, i think ricky got to see that and that's why i asked yeah. me to play in, uh, in the last band so oh, and then yeah we all work together uh Seth's a drum teacher, and then uh, that's the manager there with Mary. So. Oh, nice. You guys all work at a music store together. Well, except for Ricky. Yeah, right. But your band works all together, which right. is nice. He has a real job. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> he has a real job. Gosh, you guys all just work at a music store. But, I mean, for a band, I guess, working at a music store, it doesn't get much better than that, to oh, be yeah. honest. Yeah. It helps. Um, so, Ricky, you're singing and playing acoustic guitar. You're uh, you're kind of figureheading things as far as songwriting and stuff going? Right. Yeah. Okay, so where are you singing... Uh, did you start all new songs when you started the new band or did you pull some of your own originals in and kind of start building on that? So we definitely, we definitely pulled some originals, uh, from, you know, just, just originals that I had. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, we started writing as well. So we really started focusing on just like bringing new stuff. And so the way it works, which I think is awesome now, it's really beautiful. The way it works is that I'll come up with just like, just an idea. And I know that's going to change. And when I present it to these guys, they, roll with it um and lately like we've just been like we'll jam something a, a, just a a little a little riff or something like that and bring it to practice and then we just build on it from there and we make like a structure and then words start coming after that nice so, nice so been, you kind of adapting you bring the bare bones and the band kind of forms what the songs are and then yeah, they become. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely that's a that's that's my technique as well as a front man is um the, band, the song's really made what it is by the band after they've already like chewed it up and spit it out, Absolutely. whatever it's brought in. Yeah. It's kind of like a cake ingredients. You might be bringing like the flour, but they have eggs and everything mm -hmm. else, you know? Yeah. Um. So from my understanding, you said you sat in Thad were in another project together and kind mm -hmm. of formed this. Were you all in the same roles? I think you play guitar in this band now, Thad. So. I do, yeah. I played uh, drums. It was of water. We were playing with Caleb Stevens yeah. and he's off doing all kinds of awesome stuff. And right, right, right. Do the songwriting so, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was uh, playing kid for that. And then schedules just kind of did a whole thing and and then got together with Ricky. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I didn't want to play drums. Either. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what made you want to thinking about uh, at first just kind of doing duo stuff. OK, uh, just kind of get out there, play a little bit, yeah. write some songs, acoustic duos. And then uh, so you well, know Seth and Seth's a badass drummer. Right. So he was around like, anyway with you Seth? guys. Yeah. yeah. Seth's already been playing bass and he's just developed leaps and bounds like his sound for how it works and so I so you shifted into no playing guitar in this band more because of the beginnings were more you and ricky coming together sure, you're yeah. like accompanying ricky. Absolutely. okay yeah, yeah. okay so you're like a well-rounded musician then if you're like I, you you play I a little bit start, of everything yeah i started on guitar and then then sort of uh i've played drums for you know congregated around how it goes yeah yeah you went over time i know you play guitar too Seth. Yeah. so like oh, yeah. Seth, do you play anything but drums oh uh, one trick pony that's ah, yeah. hey, you're good at that <laughs> trick really maybe so, yeah. <laughs> that's all it takes you're good at that pony um so as far as uh as far as influences like collectively as a band do you guys have anybody you all kind of agree on or is everybody coming from different ball fields i would say it's more of like an era we're all you know, we're a little bit older um, and we all kind of gravitate towards a, uh, you know, an earlier sound, uh, 90s, early 2000s type sound. Stuff from our formative years that we're growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Things that stick in your mind. Yeah. And so I don't think that we have like, like a group as like an influence, like this band, this band, this band. I think we come in with our own personal influences. And I think it all kind of stems from that type, that era and that sound that we're all looking for. Um, or just kind of gravitate towards really. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's how it works. But I mean, if you guys th think of anything else, I think. I think that's right. Yeah, we all have our own personal influences mm -hmm. and right. melt that's, us together. A lot of times that's, that's oftentimes more to be cited for a band developing their own sound. Because if everybody kind of comes in with the same blueprint, the idea, you start to gravitate towards a certain direction and you may fail to uh, discover and develop things that you may need to do to really like set yourself apart from other artists. Yeah. So I think that's really, that's in my opinion, that's the healthy way to approach it. However, 
as we often see in the industry, there's a lot of people that do a lot of all this stuff differently. Mm -hmm. And as I stress to viewers all the time, like everything in our industry is incredibly subjective. So the path that may work for me or this band or any of these other acts we ever interview may not work for the same, you know, the same way for everyone. So that's kind of how life is in a lot of ways though. Um, so let's pull back a little bit, rein it back in. What got you started playing music and kind of on that path in life, Ricky? Dude, it, ever since I was a kid, man. My, so I come from a musical family. My grandfather was a mariachi musician in Mexico. And uh, my father, um, he still plays. Uh, he's still out there. He's like you know, 60, mid 60s. And he's, he's out on stage playing old 80s covers and stuff like that. Uh, but it's just always been there. And um, my, uh, my mom, gave us the opportunity when i say us my, me and my brothers the opportunity to play and that i think that's all it that's all we needed it was just the opportunity to do it um and so that's that was my journey and i, I always remember so just being really connected with the acoustic guitar um and uh, also songwriting i always loved listening to the lyrics i would you know my favorite songs that i listened to when i was like seven years old i would write the lyrics down just so i would get them down i'd listen to it over and over again um, and so I just kind of, um, I fell in love with, with that singer songwriter type deal and, um, just kept that going for a really long time. Um, but always did kind of like a uh, heavier sound as well. Okay. And so like, um, variety is the spice of life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and so I kind of made my own style with the acoustic, but, um, uh, but yeah, really just from family and... Uh, so it's like a natural thing from your homestead, kind of from the people you come from. Yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely. I got you. absolutely. Um, is Water Buffalo your first full band that's yours? Um, I know you and Caleb were doing stuff together and you guys played in that is the, is the act as well, but... Um, um, so, I, I mean, I, I, I guess, yes, but I don't I don't consider it mine. I'm like... This right, is right, like right, a, right. For sure, for sure. Absolutely, collectively. Yeah, this is the yeah. first... Uh, First. Before, before I guess say before your relationship with Caleb and you guys yeah. got in of water was of water the first full act you'd ever played in? Um, kind of, kind yeah. of more because when I dedicated. Met, okay, most I had met you in hosting open mic, uh -huh. and I know you had gotten to town and stuff. That's where I was like, "Where?" Because you kind of came out of nowhere, and I was yeah, like, "Who yeah. is this dude?" Yeah, yeah. And uh, I always, I've always referenced and told you, I, I personally, I always hear a lot of Ben Ridwell in your songwriting and your like presentation. He's a mm -hmm. front man of Band of Horses. Uh -huh. And I have, I hear like that really hard with Ricky. I've always heard that. Um, so from the get go, from the first time I heard you, I was like, all right, I messed with this guy. I like him. <laughs> I was like, sounds like Ben Ridwell. I'm here for it. Um, but I know with different people and different, you know, everybody's kind of got different musical histories. Whereas this is kind of, you're really starting to develop your full band, the dedication thing with this and coming out of Up Water into this. Seth's got another full band he plays with. And from my understanding, I think Seth's been playing for freaking ever. I know, <laughs> I know a million people that know Seth and have yeah, played yeah, with yeah. Seth. Yeah. And like, he's got like history that goes back probably like 20 years of playing music. It's going on 19 years. 19, yeah. I knew it was close, yeah. man. I was rolling for it. I was like, I know a couple different bands I've heard of you being in. <laughs> so, Saddam, what about you? I only started playing live last year. Uh, I know, I'm about to say, it hasn't been real long yeah. since you really like started hitting the stage. Yeah, it's actually because June dragged me up by the foot to do open mic, so. Oh, you know, dragged you up by the foot yeah. to do, hey, give it up for June, man. Yeah. yeah. Dad, what about you? You're the manager of the music store and you're yeah, pretty well-rounded, um, so I'm assuming you've probably been in for a while too. Yeah, I started, I have I kind of did the sideband thing or the hired gun kind of thing for a okay. long time. When I, in college, I was in a super cool emo band that <laughs> nice. went absolutely nowhere. That era, and yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> yep. And then of course, you know, I come back here and we need a drummer and I just play with some friends and we do all the bar gigs and then I end up you just you want know, to kind of get side, back man, in the side man for that kind of stuff and playing in all the eagle bars and everything else. It's a definite there. hustle in this area. It's a skill to have on the repertoire, and, uh, you know, for drummers all the yeah, time. Drum always you can always find work. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, always. Yeah. Drum and bass. Drum and bass because there's, you gotta there's say no. like eight people. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. And so like to be well rounded and like especially in our region, we don't always focus on originals, which um, we're in this series, we're focusing on people that are pushing their own original stuff. Which this but, is totally, uh, that's totally new for me because I hadn't done anything original since college. It was all oh, cover so, bands. So since like it had been more so, from the skill side, so this is more of the artistry side yeah, for you. it's kind Excellent. of cool to, to approach it differently Excellent. this time around. Um, so. so as I mentioned, Seth, you've kind of, you have a long kind of prestigious history of playing in bands and a lot of stuff. Like I said, I know a bunch of people you've played with personally too. <laughs> um, how, what, let's explain, um, 
for the rest of the guys because this is like everybody else's kind of main project here. And you're in a couple things. You have Philomuse. I don't know what else you're doing too because you probably have something else on top of that. Um, well, I play at a few different churches in town. True, so true. So you got church your standard gigs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's kind of where I got started playing in front of people was at church. Um, so through the years, I've just played at different churches. Um, but Philomuse was the first, well, I don't want to say first, but um, I guess recent over the past two or three years in the band that, that, that I really kind of got to. back in. Yeah. yeah. I, and that's what and I, I brought it up to somebody too. When I, when they told me that uh, you were playing drums for this, I was like, bro, completely different ball fields. Good on oh, Seth, man. Two completely oh, yeah. different bands. Yes. I was like, completely different. I love that. Too. It's a totally different approach. And I mean, kudos to Ricky and just all these guys. I mean, that's uh, where I get a lot of my ideas is I will hear what they're doing. And then I act accordingly. On so that. you kind of play off everybody a lot in that yeah. chemistry too. That's excellent, excellent. Um, so what do you guys? I know you mentioned to me, Ricky, that you guys have recording on the on the uh, on the agenda right now. So yeah. August, you yeah. said um, August, uh, early August, and we're going to start. Uh, we're going to the Bomb Shelter Studio in Nashville. Nice, nice. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're going to be putting something out. After Bomb Shelter's August. tape too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. yep. nice. Yeah. So you cut it live. Uh, that's that's the goal. That's, that's, the plan. The that's goal. what they're gonna ask you. Yeah, Let's do it. Yeah. That's the push, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you play anything like you did today, you'll be fine. Yeah, um, I think we can get some good tracks going, and then. You do know, you kind of have a, a plan for release? Anything you want to do? An EP? You gonna do singles? What you kind of? You're just ready to get in the studio, get some stuff cut, and then hit it and kind of figure it all out. Um, I think that's probably what we're going with right now. Yeah, um, get some good product, and then figure out what to do with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But I, I do. I do think that we are going to thrive in a studio environment uh, and you know we all have like ideas of what we want to put to the songs and we're writing those things down and we're you know excited of, of all the things that we can actually do with the recording which is it's uh, i'm i i really like that i think that's going to be great right that's a it's it's Tom Petty said it. That's a whole other separate member of the band. If you don't want to acknowledge it or not, it's uh -huh. like yeah, yeah, yeah. recording is its own. It's its own entity and its own caliber of the of the entire puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, I guess uh, you guys got recording coming up. Do you have a lot of shows on the books right now? Not really. We're focusing on recording. So basically, on the brand, July, okay. we, we are really, really getting tight. Uh, so we can get our money's worth. Yeah, know. absolutely, absolutely. Um, the faster you can get out there yeah. and cut it, the better, baby. Yeah. I think there's some thirsty, thirsty goat. Yeah, we got August. Mm -hmm. August twenty third is our thirsty goat, and nice, then nice. October was October seventh, over at Rookies, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys getting out a bit. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, heck yeah. Um, I guess I look forward to seeing some singles and seeing some stuff start showing up, and you guys starting to appear a bit more regionally. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on today? Anything you want to tell us about Water Buffalo or what you got in mind, what you got planned? Just uh, stay tuned. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, we are Buffalo. friends on the internet. <laughs> on the <Yeah. laughs> uh, Water Buffalo underscore music is where you can find us. Um, and I'm, I, I guarantee you're going to like what you hear. So just stick around. It's There's definitely a lot coming. It's a lot of pressure, Ricky. Yeah. It's a lot <laughs> of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And Can't as secure. always, come in and check out our channel. Yeah. We uh, we appreciate you guys coming back and checking out the start here. And for me and Water Buffalo, y'all have a great day. Yeah, thank you guys.